Sometimes we think doing the work of God is for God, it's for the kingdom. It only benefits, you know, the kingdom and we are doing it for God and not for ourselves. But the, the fact is, we are actually doing ourselves a great deal. We are actually do, doing ourselves a great deal because doing the work of God saves you from certain incessant talks which may be detrimental to you in future from gossips from backbiting from doing unnecessary things basically because you think you have time on your hand so you can't do anything I mean when I was in college or the university it, it was either going for lectures and we had a non-denominational group and then my church so it was if it is either lectures and I was an, an executive at some point so we had meetings sometimes all night meetings half night meetings there is no time and my class was also quite time consuming so after class you are going for this meeting and by the time you realize you are at the there is weekend weekend is just around the corner and you have to also meet the weekend need there could be a project work um, a group study you know um, a, an assignment group assignment you need to meet and a group member was told <laughs> a friend and said that I always give excuses even for group meetings I mean I will give excuses that I am going to church or I am going for the non-denominational meeting whatsoever and it was fun that was way but after we had completed way after so I say this you see as scripture has said in the first place there is a way that seems right to a man but at the end it is death so if you are not doing the work of God there are ways that may seem right to you so is it that you are here or there is it that you are doing the work of God and you are doing the opposite which might be detrimental or which is or will be detrimental to you this is scripture scripture has said it this is what scripture says there is a way that seems right so if you are not doing God's work there are other ways that seem right to you that you'll be doing that may only glorify or satisfy the desires of the flesh how about the spirit what the spirit want what happened to soul winning what happened to evangelism what happened to outreaches schools community outreaches going out there to speak with people saving souls for Christ Let's be Christ minded. Let's think about what is above. Let us not just think about what we have here and what we are going to save and our treasures whatsoever. Because we are taking none. When the time comes, we are not taking any of the earthly things above. So let's have eternity in mind. You are capable of anything. You can achieve.